Okay, yeah. so it's a uh, it's a bright day here at the uh, lodge at Mount Snow. We're down here at the uh, 2009 U.S. Open, and we're checking out uh, Harry Harrison Gray. Harry Harrison, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you, fat man? I'm I'm fat, and I'm loving life. So uh, tell us what you're all about. Like, uh, where are you from? Who are you? What do you do? Give us the breakdown, bro. Um, my name's Harrison Gray. Yeah. I am a I guess. Pro, semi pro, sled dog. You get paid money? Uh, yeah, yes. So then you're a pro snowboarder? Right, so I'm okay, let's just clarify that. Harrison, you get paid money? Yes. Okay, so you're a pro snowboarder. Alright. Alright, so now you know. Alright, so I'm a, a professional snowboarder. Okay, so Harry, we're down here at the US Open um, 2009. What are you saying? How's life, bruh? Um, life is amazing. Could have been better. Uh, Actually, that's a lie. Um, treading was dope. Kind of did some work on my ankle, but icing, which sucks, but I have to do it. Uh, down here with you and the crew in uh, one of a luxury hotel. So uh, it's fun times, you know? It's my fifth U.S. Open. Um, How yeah. old are you? I'm 15. I've been here since I was 10. You've been coming since you were 10? Yep. And you know what I've noticed is, is, is that this is a crazy fact, but like, your mustache is just as thick now as it was at your first U.S. Open. T tell me more about the mustache. Tell me about this hair. Show me this hair. What's up with this hair? Um, the mustache and my hair is everything is uh is my source of power. You could say. Really? How long is that? It hair? is uh down past my nipple. I honestly don't believe you. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do some some shine. Wow! Wow! Have you ever heard of Fabio? It's really greasy right now. Yeah, but like what? It's what? Like, oh wow! That's fa that's a fantastic life, my friend. So so you say the power is your hair. Um, are you sure it's not the fact that you go to the gym three four times a week and like eat Wheaties and and drink your like um, you know protein shakes? No, all the hair. Oh okay. Sick. So I believe if you cut it off, I would be I'd be done. So you're gonna grow that for your whole career? I'll grow it till it's a, a decent length and just. Keep it like yeah. trim. Keep it like you like. So like, are you saying like you like trim bush? I mean trim trim hair. Trim hair. Yeah. Okay, sick, sick. So so like, who do you ride for? Um, my current sponsors right now are Burton, Oakley, Nike Six Point Icarus of course, my homie, uh, Famous Stars and Straps, and uh, am I forgetting anything right now? I no, I'm good. I'm in there. That's it. You don't ride for like a super cool energy drink or like a like an Xbox or like PlayStation or some sort of crap like that. Not that I'm aware of. Really? Have you ever considered having an agent? Uh, yes, I believe you are my agent, Jesse. No, I'm not. You should call Bob Klein. That guy's amazing. I will. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So, uh, so what happened yesterday? Like, like, or a couple days ago? Like, you you did qualifiers. How'd you do? Um, yeah, I rode pre-qualifiers, and in my session, I qualified first, so I was stoked on that, I had like 56 guys, and then in from qualifiers to semis, I qualified third. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so continue on the open, like, so you, you, you push through during pre-qualifiers, you qualified first through pre-qualifiers, you rolled into qualifiers, how'd you do, what happened, tell me all about it. Um, yeah, I, uh, had a sweet first run. I was stoked on that. Got, what are you doing? Got, I'm just amazed. <laughs> got, like, uh, the highest I've ever gotten, so like a 90-something. I was stoked on that. Um, and then, right before the second run, uh, one of my oh, heroes. Oh, I've heard about this. Uh, the kiss of death. Tora, Tora Bright blew me a kiss right before I dropped in. And what did you do with that kiss? Um, I, I put it in my pocket, and then... Did you snag it out of the... Oh, Avi, Avi, like... no one's stealing that from me. Okay, and then... so you grabbed the kiss before, like, some old random bastard yeah, got it. Yeah, for sure, kiss. 100%. All right, sick. Before okay, so you, you got, got... So, no, 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 so you got Tora Bright's kiss. Yeah, and then I put that in my pocket, and yeah. then about 20 seconds later, I did a heave-ho, Michael Chuck, um... To flat. What's to the Michael, Michael, what, an air to fake you backflip? A, a heave-ho. Oh, a heave-ho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ba a backflip on your backside wall. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Feels, it looks like a flat spinning five. Yeah. Um, and uh, and went way too flat and rolled over and did stuff to my ankle. And thus that put me out. And for... did the kiss fall out of your pocket? Oh, no. That was securely in there. Never oh, left. you used that for later in the bathroom on alone time. Shh. That's our business. 
Come on. Well, either way. No everyone knows. I, I think you were Failing a little too stoked life. about the kiss and not stoked enough about the heave ho, bro. Yeah, I guess you'd say that. Okay, so... Well, this is the line of my first one that I got in, so... Well, okay, so that when it comes down to it, like, your mental game is off because the distraction of a beautiful woman totally, uh... It was the, the kryptonite to your superhero madness. But I'm 15. Everyone's like that, 15. Yeah, horny and dumb. I agree, I agree. Okay, so Harry, tell me, um... This, uh... You got a tattoo. Yes, I, I did. And what does it say? It says Gray, G-R-A-Y. Harrison's got one of the sweetest tattoos I've seen this year. Gray's last name. It's pretty cool. Show, show that. That's awesome. This is his last name. It's also the color gray. And some days when it's gray skies, it's kind of cool for Harrison. How do you, how do you feel about competing in the uh, U.S.? I actually love competing in the U.S. because I have a bunch of friends that I've made from traveling and whatnot. So... At the opens or at Grand Prix, I get to see all of them, and it's like a big get together, and it's always fun. You know, change of crew sometimes. It's, it's, it's What's good. it like being a Canadian snowboarder blowing up in an American industry? Um, not to be biased or sound like an a hole, but it's kind of tough because I guess you don't get overlooked. But well, I guess that's the word. But uh, you kind of get overlooked or. <laughs> um, Did you just say overlooked twice? Yes, I said overlooked twice. Cool. Three times now. No, that's great. That's overlooked cool. four. That's cool. Um, God, don't say overlooked again. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, so, so, so you won, like, like what? Like, uh, 10 to 15 grand this year, and uh -huh. you've uh, gotten a bunch of podiums, and you've traveled, like, 30 different airports, and you've done really well, and you went, what? You went backcountry? Yeah, I've got... Who would you go backcountry with? Nike? Um, yeah, uh, my team manager, Kevin Sansalong. Uh, for Nike 6.0, I got to go out just to uh, spend a week with him in Vancouver and Whistler. And uh, it was awesome, actually. got to go sledding and ride real backcountry for the first time ever. And that's pretty much all I want to do. Well, contest to get to there, but... Great photos. But sledding is... Sick photos, bro. Is amazing. Bro. Um, bro. It was fun just... Broski. It was fun just riding around... Broski. Doing the sleds, you know... <laughs> Going around finding what you want to find, having the freedom of doing a 360 and going, oh, that looks cool, that looks cool, that cliff looks awesome. A 360? Well, like, like a three, what like, are you, a pussy? No, standing, standing in a spot and doing a 360 view of everything. It was the fucking everything. snowmobile ride You don't that get you this. Loved. You don't get this. I mean... You just love the vibration. Yeah. You that's like another story. All right. Come on, Troy. That's okay, awesome. so either way, how was your season? It was amazing, and I don't think it could have gone any better.